Hey guys, story time with the beard. So, my family used to own a restaurant in West Town, Pennsylvania, outside of Westchester, called Pizza Peddler. If you're from the area, you probably know it. Uh, so, we were friends with the local police there. Uh, it was a very small community. It was a very nice and friendly community. And one of the cops told me a story one time. It had happened a couple weekends before. And he said they got a phone call at nine o'clock at night. It was uh, it was fall time. It was getting a little chilly out, and this lady calls and she calls nine one one and goes, "There's a monster in my backyard. It's stalking me. It's up in the tree watching me, and it's gonna kill me in the middle of the night." One of those crazy things. So they think this lady's just off a rocker. So, but doing their duty, they show up. And the police officer I'm talking to says he shines his flashlight up into the tree and there's two eyes glowing back, two big eyes. So it looked like a demon up in the tree. And the more they're, they're focusing in on this creature up in the tree, they have no clue what it is. It is not something native to Pennsylvania. They had no idea. They said it kind of looked like a monkey. They didn't know what it was, but it wasn't a monkey. So they said they grabbed some fruit and coaxed this animal out of the tree. And it came down out of the tree. And then they started Googling what it was, trying to figure it out, sending pictures to people. And somebody answered them back and said, that is a kinkachoo. So if you don't know what a kinkachoo is... They are also called the honey bear. Uh, they're an unusual member of the raccoon family, distinguished by its long tail and a short muzzle. They have a low set of round ears. They're native to Central America and parts of South America. So they usually live in the upper canopy of the tropical rainforest. So you can imagine... Being in Pennsylvania, this was probably 2005, 2004. Somebody being very, very confused, thinking maybe it's the the John Devil of Chester County or the Chester County Devil. Too bad we didn't spread that rumor that there was a Chester County Devil stalking the streets at night. But they said they ended up getting it out of the tree, feeding it bananas, and they brought it to the police station until animal control showed up. Uh, I don't really remember what happened, but most likely it was somebody who had this exotic animal. Um, and I had never heard of a kinkachoo at that point, so it was a lesson for me as well. So that is story time with the beard. I hope you enjoyed. Click that subscribe button and uh, share with a friend, especially if they don't know what a kinkachoo is.